India's semiconductor journey has well and truly begun today and especially coming at a time when the US is hosting the Indian Prime Minister. The cabinet has approved Micron's bet on India as a semicon destination. This is the first such approval granted to an applicant under India's flagship scheme for semiconductors. With this approval, Micron will now be setting up an ATMP or an assembly testing, marking and packaging facility. This unit is likely to come up in Sanam, Gujarat, which already boasts of a vast industrial hub. Let's talk numbers now. The plan has been approved under the Semicon scheme where the government will support the cost of uh, the project on a dollar-for-dollar -dollar basis. So under the approved plan, Micron will make an investment of 11,000 crores. This will be matched by support from the government of an equal amount of 11,000 crores. This takes the total investment to 22,000 crore rupees. So why is this investment significant? There are six reasons. Number one, the approval for Micron comes at a time when the Indian Prime Minister is on a US state visit. A commitment of this scale by Micron will strengthen India's pitch as a semiconductor destination. Number two, the approval comes close on the heels of the US visit by Telecom, IT and Rail Minister Ashwini Vaishnav. He met with multiple CEOs, academicians and industry experts to lay the groundwork. Number three, it's been a long wait. The original Semicon scheme was notified in December of 2021. And while the government has been pitching India as a hub for semiconductors, given the public money involved, it has been guarded. So the first approval comes 18 months after the scheme had been notified. Number four, in September of 2022, the Semicon scheme was um, amended and under this modification, the support from the government was ramped up from 30% all the way up to 50% of the project cost for ATMPs. This sweetening of the deal was crucial. Number five, this would be the first time that the government has approved an upfront payment to bear the cost of the project. Just for context, a PLI scheme pays the companies uh, the incentive after the incremental production. And lastly, uh, but significantly, India's wait for a fab, for a fabrication facility for making semiconductors continues. India had aspired to host these fab facilities, but a lot of large players have been shy so far. But despite that, uh, speaking just a few days ahead of the approval, US National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan in a conversation with CNBC TV18 had said, and I quote here, there would be substantial results on the India-US cooperation on semiconductor supply chains. US and India are working on ways to promote semiconductor manufacturing in India. US has invested resources in reshoring semiconductor supply chain to us, but we would like to contribute to semiconductor manufacturing in India. This is one area we would like to make rapid progress and show results, end of quote. The hope is that with the government opening up a second window, more players would turn their interest into investments. Meanwhile, the government is gearing up to roll out the red carpet for the entire Semicon ecosystem.